Hi, I'm Paul Mosensen, founder of New Spark Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to create a content experiment, the new um, optimizer on Google Analytics with a WordPress site. So an experiment, Google used to have the Google Website Optimizer, um, but now they are calling it an experiment under your content section of your Google Analytics. Right down here, you'll see experiments. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an experiment, a content experiment. This is going to be a landing page experiment based on my pay per click lead generation ebook. So I'm going to market that on pay per click, but I want to test landing pages and see which landing pages work best. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is choose my experiment pages. So, this, my experiment is called the Search Marketing Ebook Test. And now we have a control page. This is basically my main pay-per-click page. Um, this is going to be the control. Um, so I'm calling this newsparkmarketing.com backslash paid search ebook, which is basically what this is. Here's my paid search ebook. Okay. Oops, wrong page. Okay. Here we go. Now, if in order to create variances for testing, you need to have a different um, URL. So what you have to do, you have to go into um, what I do is, you know, go into your um, WordPress, and you know how slow it is sometimes, and um, you have to find, you have to create a new page. So here's what I did. Here's the paid search ebook I just did. So we're going to, you know, basically copy all this content into a new page on WordPress. So we're adding a new page. Now for this test, I already did the new page, so, um, and I created new URLs. So when I copy those pages, this is my original that we just saw, paid search ebook. My new variant is called pay per click ebook. And my next variant is called SEM ebook for search engine marketing. So I have three unique URLs. And basically what I did was take each of my landing pages and just for this example was create different headlines. So one was pretty basic, which is general paid search, pay-per-click, strategic guide to lead generation using paid search. Here is my search engine marketing, which is a different headline, could generate more profit. This one is PP PPC ebook, generate more leads and sales now. So there's three different versions. All create under WordPress. So three different landing pages, okay? Now, then we go to next. Once those three, three URLs are set up, we have to um, obviously make sure we have a conversion goal. So with Google Analytics creating goals, uh, mine is called pay-per-click ebook conversion, which is a URL destination. It's basically a thank you page, which is this page here, pay-per-click ebook form. This is a thank you page. All right, now, going back to the experiment, it's a, it's a goal. Huh, now. 100% of the users or the visitors who come to this landing page will be involved with the experiment. Um, you can have different percentages as well. I prefer 100% because I'm going to test each landing page equally. You can certainly put in a different percentage. That means more of your audiences are going to go to your main landing page than your test landing pages. I mean, you could decide, you know, in your experiment that 50% of the audience is going to go to my original landing page, and out of the remaining 50%, 25% of, of that 50% go to landing page 2 or 3. So then it would end up being basically 50% to the first landing page, and then out of that 50%, it's split up with all the landing page tests. There's lots of ways to do it, but that's um, in theory how it's supposed to work. I'm using 100% easier that way. But again, you can 
test different percentages of people who you want to be involved with the test. Okay, so after we set up the conversion goal and we know how many people we want to be involved with the test, we have to add experiment code. You know, we have Google Analytics code, we have Google conversion code, now we have experiment code, which I'll add myself. So this, according to the experiment instructions, this complicated looking code um, is going to go to the um, original landing page um, source code to the top of the original page. The original page, not every landing page, but just the original page. This is going to tell Google to say this is part of the experiment. Um, so we copy this code. Now where does it go? Because it's WordPress. You have to go into your host and um, this is Bluehost. Now every host is a little different, but go to a file manager and then go to your um, where all your files are for your pages. Now what I did was I have to create a new template for WordPress in order to put this content experiment in. So what I did was I take the um, one template that I already had called page left and uh, which means I, I have a sidebar only on the left side and I copy it right to the same um, design theme folder and just rename it called conversion code which I already did I just called this one conversion.php so it makes a, it makes a sample of it a copy of it into your directory because we're creating a new template called conversion which I already did and so you'll, what I'll see what happened here is when you click on the edit of my conversion PHP which is my new template uh, you have this piece of code up here if you can see it get a little closer here this is how you name templates with this code structure study that and I renamed the template name from page left to conversion and here's my and then I typed in or copied in the content experiment code to this template Okay. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so what happens next? So on all those uh, on that paid search ebook, um, landing page on WordPress. When you when you set up your pages, you have an option to choose a template. Well, here's conversion, the one I just set up. Here's the page left, which is my default one. I have some other ones here too. The thank you conversion goes to my thank you page for my conversion code for AdWords. But for this test, we're using my conversion template, which is basically the experiment that we're doing on this paid search ebook original landing page. So the code went there on that template. Hope you understand that. <laughs> All right. Code is there on the original page. We had to put it on the template for that landing page. And how do I know that I do it right? Well, we have to check it. And that's what we'll do. Checking your page. And look. Working code. Everything is working. On each of my three test landing pages. Excellent. So, here, here's a re 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 reviewing the experiment now. Here's how the pages look. This one's called paid. This one's called PPC. This one's called SEM. Same download ebook, I just changed the headline. Now you can change anything, images, you know, content, you know, that's the fun part about experimenting is see which kind of landing pages work best. So here's our goal to improve pay-per-click ebook conversions. And 100% of visitors are visiting this experiment. And here's a note here, all experiments limit to three months, so you can't do more than a three month test. Okay? And then we run the experiment. So they'll start collecting data, and then eventually we'll be able to track uh, results. So what do we do next? Okay, so we set up this content experiment. We uh, did on blue. We did it on my host. We copied. We made template. We put the code in. We created new landing pages, and um, so basically the only thing you have to do is take that original landing page URL, and um, and you create an AdWords campaign. So here's Google AdWords, and you know you go to your campaign, and um, 
write an ad with that original URL as the um, destination URL. So let's go ahead and there's a bunch of campaigns here I've done in the past. Again, this is just a test here, so I haven't set it up yet. And you create ad groups and this and that. Create ads. Create a new ad, new text ad. You know, you write your headline, description, and this is the destination URL of the uh, original landing page. So anyway, I hope this makes sense. Um, what we're doing again is we're using pay-per-click to test uh, a promotion of my uh, lead generation ebook using content experiments and um, to see as traffic starts coming in and I start spending some money to promote it um, to see which version works best. Now listen, you can do it with um, you know Bing and um, you know even social media advertising or display advertising, any kind of campaigns to you know email marketing. Uh, you know anything that can bring people in eventually you're gonna see with it with equal amount of traffic which form of uh, landing page um, has the best conversion rate and that's how that works um, give me a call if you have any questions 610-604-0639 but hopefully uh, you get the gist of how this um, content experiment is gonna work all right eventually we're gonna pick a winner and we're going to uh, we can stop it, we can revalidate it, we can edit it, all those kinds of things. But uh, it'll be fun. Thank you for watching.